Hello and welcome to Science Specialists. My name is Dr Nick Andrew. I'm an ophthalmologist trained in Australia, New Zealand and Canada, and my specific expertise are in complex cataract and glaucoma microsurgery. So I created this clinic, Science Specialists, because I wanted to do things differently. I wanted my team and I to be able to provide absolute state-of-the-art eye care using the very latest technology, but in a centre that is warm, welcoming and puts you, the patient, first. I first want to explain exactly what cataract is and the ways that I treat it. So this is a cross-section through the eye. This is the cornea, the clear window at the front of the eye. This is the iris, which is the coloured part of the eye. This is the lens, which sits just behind your pupil. This is the retina, which is the camera film at the back of the eye. And this is the optic nerve, which is the cable that transmits the image back to the brain. The lens is approximately the size and shape of a Smarty. Its role is to focus the incoming light onto the retina so that we see clearly. Cataract is a clouding of that lens. This clouding obscures the light from reaching the back of our eye, and it also acts like a chandelier that scatters the incoming light. So knowing this, it's easy to understand the various symptoms of cataract. Cataracts cause the headlights of oncoming cars to appear dazzling, and cataracts may cause you to see halos, flaring or starbursts around the headlights of cars. Patients with cataract may also notice that their vision is just not as sharp as it used to be, that their glasses need updating more frequently, and that their new glasses don't seem to be as crystal clear as the glasses they had a few years ago. Cataracts also cause people to need a brighter light in order to read. They may notice that they struggle to see clearly in dim lighting, so just walking along a dark footpath. This is because in the evening the colour spectrum shifts towards the blue colours. This phenomenon is called the Purkinje shift and it makes everything look bluer at night. So cataracts are yellow in colour and they therefore block blue wavelengths of light that are essential for our night vision. Therefore, at night time or in dark environments, cataract patients just don't see as well. However, if you haven't noticed these cataract symptoms, then that's normal too. Because cataracts come on slowly, it's very difficult for people to recognise how their eyesight has changed. Cataract formation is a normal ageing change of the lens that affects everyone eventually. It's accelerated by sunlight exposure, by diabetes and by certain medications. Nowadays, patients are wanting to have their cataracts treated at an earlier stage, given that the results of cataract surgery are becoming so good and that operation can have such a positive impact on a person's life. I perform cataract surgery as a walk-in, walk-out procedure in a day surgery nearby. You're in the day surgery for approximately three hours in total, and you're in the theater suite with me for approximately 20 minutes. You'll be positioned flat on a bed, and then yes, you'll be fast asleep. My anesthetist will give you deep sedation. Most of my patients have absolutely no recollection of the surgery whatsoever, or they recall only a vague, slightly euphoric feeling. My patients don't need an eye patch, but instead, due to the surgical technique that I use, you will simply have a clear shield over your eye, but you'll be able to see out of the operated eye almost immediately. I do one eye one day and the second eye just three to seven days later. This means that you are back to your full normal activities very quickly. During the surgery, I'll make a tiny two millimeter incision in the outer corner of your eye. I remove your cloudy lens and I replace it with a new artificial lens implant. This lens is folded up like a taco shell so that it can be injected through the two millimeter incision. Once inside of your eye, the lens opens up to rest within your natural lens capsule. I then rotate the lens implant so that it is aligned exactly to the axis of your cornea, which is done using a laser tracking system that I view within the eyepieces of my operating microscope. The new lens will refocus your vision and it will last you for the rest of your life. Although I am comfortable changing the lens if required, cataract surgery is generally a once in a lifetime procedure. Now if I didn't implant an artificial lens, you would need to wear extremely thick glasses, which is what patients did decades ago. Nowadays, however, with advances in technology, many patients specifically come to me for their surgery because they are seeking their best possible vision with the least need for glasses. The lens that we choose for your eye is the most important decision you will ever make for your vision. It's like an artificial heart valve. It's probably never going to come out and it will be a part of you. So it's important that you think critically about how you want your vision to be. There are countless different lens brands, lens models, and lens powers available for ophthalmologists to choose from. The problem is, if we take one particular model of lens and put that lens into 10 different patients, we will get 10 very different results. Now this is because it's not the lens implant that determines your vision, but it is the combination of your lens implant and your cornea that determines how clearly you will see and what range of vision you will have without glasses. 
Cataract surgery must therefore be customized to the individual. This tailored approach is the essence of modern, customized cataract surgery. Now, without wanting to sound big-headed, my approach to cataract surgery is at the very limits of attention to detail. In this clinic, there is literally not a stone left unturned. In fact, every stone is examined with a microscope. The process we have is so rigorous that the main thing limiting our results is actually the limits of modern technology itself. My role is to get the very best vision that we can out of your eyes. Your post-operative vision might not be perfect. In fact, no one's vision can truly be perfect. But my main goal is to achieve the very best result that is possible for you. Okay, well, we've covered a lot already. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. 